Hello, I'm Brad Wolf at Embarcadero Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show how to easily identify SQL Server locks with DB Artisan. In DB Artisan, I can easily identify situations where locking or blocking issues are occurring. By launching the database monitor, which is found under the utilities editor, I'm able to get a look at any locks or blocking locks that are occurring. Right now everything's occurring in the background. To incur some overhead on this data source, I've launched Rapid SQL. And in this session, we'll simulate some activity on a database through a transaction. Through the DB Artisan monitor, I'm now able to refresh the view. And as you can see, the locking culprits are listed in the monitor view. I can see that Rapid SQL is responsible for both a database and table lock on the GIMNU table. With DB Artisan, I'm able to take an action. Several things are, are options. First of all, when I select the problematic uh, session, I can see details about any active SQL that's running in the background. Also, with that particular row highlighted, I can get some context sensitive or right click options. Option one is to drop that SQL into a SQL editor where I can run it against a test environment to evaluate how better to run that code. I'm also able to generate an explain plan for the SQL. This would be a text-based explain plan to help me determine more uh, about the root cause of the issue. And then finally, I have the ability to also kill the offending session. By choosing this option, I am prompted to confirm my decision to kill that selected process. And as soon as I do, the effect is shown in the user interface. I'm also able to see in Rapid SQL that this connection has been terminated by DB Artisan.